I think after last season, when Patrick Mahomes won MVP and Super Bowl MVP in the same year, first player to do that uh, in over 20 years, we kind of all said, okay, Mahomes has clearly been the guy for a while, but now it's his league. Now it's really him versus the field, I think is the consensus most of us have come to. But is that fair? Just because that's a narrative doesn't necessarily mean it's true. And one thing I like to do on this channel is take popular narratives and just challenge them. Sometimes I realize they're actually not true. Sometimes I realize they are, but it's just fun to uh, really, you know, get into the, the, you know, the weeds of this and say, is Mahomes, you know, we know Mahomes is the best quarterback, but by how much? Is he in a tier of his own? That's what I want to talk about in this video. Is Should should we view this as it's Mahomes and everybody else? Or is it, Mo, no, Mahomes is the best, but there's other guys who are pretty consistently good as well. Well, let's get into it. I have a couple of charts that we're going to discuss here. First things first is this chart, which is going to need some ex some explaining because right now it's just numbers. Uh, what it is is the year for the past five years, the five years that Mahomes has been in the league, and where he has ranked in terms of uh, pro football focus grade. So let's look at 2018, the one at the bottom. Uh, he was second in PFF grade, and he was 1.1 point behind who was first. It was actually Drew Brees that year. Uh, so, you know, we'll go from top to bottom. Uh, he was tied for the best PFF grade last year, and has actually never been first. He was 11th in 2021, 11.7 points below the player who was first. He was 3.3 points below the player who was first in 2020, and 1.9 points below the player who was first in 2019. So, that's interesting to me. Although one thing I would mention is, despite the fact that he's never been first by himself any of these five years, it's kind of a, kind of a stat that doesn't really, I wouldn't say is a flawed stat, because I think it does a good job at telling you what it's supposed to tell you, but I've always compared PFF grades for quarterbacks as much more of a batting average than a slugging percentage. If you're a baseball fan, uh, you know, you'll uh, get that, but basically the idea is, I think Mahomes is someone who still has a great batting average. He hits 300 every year, but he also hits like 60 home runs every year, and so, for, you know, maybe there's players who have slightly better batting averages, but obviously when you factor in the power, then Mahomes Holmes has probably been better in this category. So, okay, maybe not the perfect stat to use for Mahomes. Well, what's another stat? Let's use EPA, which is uh, estimated points added. This is the chart, and you see that he has been first in this only once, though. In 2022, he had an estimated points added uh, of first in the league, and it was uh, 0.06. Uh, points per play above the second best player, which is actually very good. That's a really, you know, that's a significant uh, jump right there. You see the other years, he's been top three every single year of, you know, only uh, 0.038 behind in 2021, 0.051 in 2020, uh, 0.04 in 2019, and just 0.005 in 2018. Very close to being first there. So we've been around first every single year, but he it's not like he's consistently get, being first by a wide margin every single year. But again, it would be insane if he was, right? Like, I think that's kind of why this is a bit of a unique discussion to have because Mahomes is going up against 31 other quarterbacks every year. The odds are a quarterback is going to beat him every single year, but the odds are that any select other quarterback is not going to really come close to beating him every single year. This chart, I think, is the perfect way to really illustrate the point I'm trying to make. These are the top 10 quarterbacks in terms of EPA per play for the past five years. Uh, guys who have had at least 2,000 plays, because I wanted to get uh, guys of uh, decent sample size and someone who, you know, guys who have played for at least most of that time. Uh, and you see Mahomes is just so far above the field in this category. I mean, his EPA per play, uh, 0.298, is incredibly good. And the next two guys, you have Rodgers with a 0.181 and Brady with a 1.66, uh, and then Lamar with a 1.65. I mean, those are the next kind of players. You have a massive jump between one and two. And it's also worth mentioning, you know, Rodgers only has a couple of years left, we would assume, given his age. Brady is out of the league right now, so number three is just off the board. He has been significantly higher than everybody else. So what does that mean? Is Mahomes way better than the field? 
again, you can't definitively say that based on the chart, right? You just cannot because Mahomes has, you know, talent around him. That's just totally fair to say. He had Tyreek Hill for four out of those years. He's had Travis Kelsey for five out of those years, uh, you know, all five years. He's had Andy Reid for all five years. He's had good offensive line play for most of that time, uh, with the exception of a specific Super Bowl that we all remember, uh, you know. That's all factored in and been a part of why the EPA per play is just better. And also worth mentioning, you know, uh, I don't know if EPA per play is a god stat. I don't know if it's perfect because at the end of the day, it does kind of favor players who are more willing to go along with the football, which might uh, hinder someone like Rodgers and Brady a bit. But not to the point where you're getting over a tenth of a point per play higher, uh, you know, every single play for Mahomes. That's um, even all that stuff considered. It's still just an insane jump that Mahomes has had. It's not like Brady and Rodgers and Lamar uh, didn't have any good situations uh, around them. No, uh, without a doubt, it's incredible what you've seen from Patrick Mahomes. And so... This is kind of how I view it with Mahomes. Should he be in a tier of his own? Depends on how you look at it. Because the insane value of Mahomes is you know that for the next five years, he's probably going to be a top three quarterback to top five quarterback every single one of those years. Like, I'd be surprised if in the next five years, he has a year where he's not a top five quarterback. You don't know if he's going to be top one every year. It's not like he's in another tier of his own in which like every other quarterback is going to be significantly worse than him every year, right? It's not a Wayne Gretzky situation, but the fact that he's going to consistently be the best quarterback or one of the best quarterbacks uh, is kind of what makes him so special and why he is going to rack up Super Bowls. And he's, you know, going to be the favorite every year until he retires, we would assume to be the best quarterback in football. Again, Who knows? Maybe his career will fall off a cliff uh, and, and, you know, none of that matters. But I'm not going to bet on something like that happening. So, again, for next year, because it's one of those things where it's like there's so many good quarterbacks, right? I mean, uh, for next season, you can definitely look at it and say, well, uh, you know, how many quarterbacks could potentially surpass him? How many quarterbacks could uh, be better than him next year? Like Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers, uh, you know, uh, Lamar Jackson, Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts, all those guys, like, I don't know, maybe Tua, maybe Trevor Lawrence takes the next step. Like all those guys are capable of beating Mahomes in a given year. But in the next five years, I'd be stunned if any of them can be better than Mahomes. That's kind of what just makes it uh, interesting, and that is Mahomes' true value, and that is why he's in a tier of his own. Not every year, but for, for a large sample size, he's going to be uh, you know, in a tier of his own. So that's kind of how I view all of that stuff. What do you think? What are your thoughts of on Mahomes? Do you think he's in a tier of his own? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.